So now we come to the next step where uh, I have to make some decisions about uh, what should go where on the timeline. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use um, the video to kind of dictate what should be done. Now, uh, the only issue is that um, when I play the video, you guys won't be able to hear the audio. So I'm going to I'm going to play just for a little bit and then I'm going to talk you through what was just said. Okay, so I uh, say that the purpose of our pro programming is to actually uh, build content. So this is a natural part in the video where I should give an example of my students creating content. So what I have to do now is, all right, I'm, I'm looking at this place on the timeline. I'm going to make it says 20 seconds and um, 20.14 seconds. The next thing should actually be video that students were making content. So I'm going to minimize um, Adobe Premiere and I'm going to look at the first video. And there's actually probably a, a, a good chunk of maybe 10 or 15 seconds in the first video here. I just have to find it. So I'm going to preview the video MAH uh, 00062. That's the name of it. So I'm going to go ahead and play it to preview it. Now you can preview it in Adobe Premiere, but I'd rather like know ahead of time before I work. So I'm I'm watching this video, seeing if there is anything I can use here, and definitely not using that clip at the end. But I feel like I could use from right there to approximately right there. So. I probably have a total of seven seconds of video out of all that that I could possibly use to illustrate students making content. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close the watching the video and then I'm going to go into Adobe Premiere. So in this sequence, I'm going to show you how to clip and also how to mute the video. So I'm going to go back to Adobe Premiere and I'm going to import that piece of media. So I do so by right clicking over the media browser hit import and I'm going to choose that video file and I'm going to hit open. So now it's in my project file here and uh, there's a couple of different ways that you can edit it. I'm going to choose the easy way. I'm going to use the razor tool. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that video and I'm going to try to place it on the timeline. But when I move it up, notice that uh, when I move it up, the video track is up top and the audio track down here is underneath the other audio track. The other thing that you probably notice is that this video is, isn't fitting the aspect ratio. And that's because the video that I took is uh, of lower uh, quality than the video from the main interview take two. So I have to change. The first thing I got to change before I even cut stuff is I have to make sure that it fits the project. Well, there's two ways you can do it. One way I've already shown you how to do, which is to select that and then right click over it and then go to scale the frame size. That's the, that's an easy way to do it. Um, but there's another way that we can do it. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now to actually change its scale. What you can do is I double click on the clip, which takes it into the effect controls preview tab over here. And notice it says position and scale. Well, we only need to make the scale bigger we, because the aspect ratio is correct. 725, 40 is the, is the good numbers. Uh, the ratio of 16 to 9 is pretty much how that works. Um, but 
if I want to make that video bigger, that's the first thing I got to do is I'm going to click over that number 100, which represents 100%. And I'm going to scroll to the right and notice uh, as the number increases next to the cursor, the size of the video increases. So now I have the right um, like aspect ratio of, of the video to fit the final projects video. Now the problem is we have audio that goes with it and we don't want to hear that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just for now, I'm going to mute that entire audio track by clicking this M underneath it. So I click M, we won't be able to hear the audio in that and we don't really want to anyway. So the next thing we got to do is we have to trim uh, the video. We have to uh, um, cut off the front end that we don't really want. So I'm going to advance the video a little bit. Okay, so now I wanted the video to start where his finger is pointing approximately. So now that I know that I want the video to start right there, I'm going to use the razor tool. So I'm going to click the razor tool right here. And then I'm going to hover over the part on the timeline where it is. And I'm going to click it. And that has separated this clip from that clip. The next thing I need to do then is I need to hit the selection tool right here, which I just activated. I'm going to select this section. And then I'm going to hit the delete key on my uh, keyboard. And that takes that part away. Now, I wanted, I wanted the video to start approximately right there. And it doesn't have to be completely accurate. But now I have to trim the back end of the video off. So I'm going to let this thing play for a second. And that right there is where I want the video to come to an end, because that's as far as I want it to go. So I'm going to do the same technique, and I'm going to use the razor tool, and I'm going to click and hover over that. And notice that clip is selected. Um, that's the clip we want to keep. So then I'm going to hit the selection tool, and this part at the end, all this excess video, I don't want it anymore. So I'm just going to simply hit the delete key. So now if, I, if I'm watching the video, what will happen is it's a hard cut right now. We're going to apply transitions later. But watch what happens. So I'm talking. So uh, that's the first cut of uh, this video is to actually have placed a video um, of students working on a broadcast. So that is our next step. And uh, yeah, that's where we're going to stop for now.